I think the the one thing that pushes me the hardest is that I know I have an opportunity to like change lives. And not just my life, not just my family's life, but the people around me and my friends and like really make a difference. You know what I mean? I've never felt like I could actually make a difference in anyone's life like I do now. And that means more to me than anything else. So yeah, making a difference. I think that's the biggest thing for me. The first song that I wrote that I fell in love with was called Get It Girl. And it was an old record that nobody's ever gonna hear, but <laughs> anytime I hear that song, I kind of still get chills just because it was one of my original, like, babies. And shoot, that was probably like the third song I wrote. Being this involved in music was never even a thought of mine until I got this far in. Until somebody told me, you're good enough, and put a contract in front of me, I didn't know what I was doing. That's how I feel. Four years ago, I didn't know I'd be here. Two years ago, I didn't know I'd be here. Dilla was playing more than anything because that was probably one of the first cats that I can actually get my hands on. My older brother used to play a lot of Dilla. Oh, Stevie Wonder, Donny Hathaway, Marvin Gaye, Donny McClurkin, Fred Hammond, a lot of Jay-Z, a lot of Missy Elliott, Outkast, Andre 3000 when he first started dropping his own projects. When The Love Below came out, I was done. I was done for weeks, man. I couldn't even think straight. I grew up listening to my uncle. My uncle used to do this club thing called um, Praise Connection. He had all kind of musicians come out and play gospel music, but they were playing it so, like, secular. I'll never forget how much they wanted us to, like, get on stage and sing the songs and be a part of it. Three-part harmony and... You know, we get off stage and they get, you know, the real musicians back in place and they come up and kill some shit. That was probably like the biggest lessons I've learned, like being on stage and stuff like that. So I'll never, I always like count that. Got to count that for sure. For sure. There's always somebody looking to hear, you know, something about love. Just because there's so many different like perspectives on love, you know what I mean? You can have a love song that's just about you loving somebody. You can have a love song that's about someone loving you, or about someone that hates you, you know what I mean? And it'd be a song about love, you know what I mean? It's just so many ways you can paint a vivid picture. a single out right now. It is called Are You Listening? Featuring Tiffany Goucher, who is my little cousin. I also have a project dropping. I can't say the name of it yet. I can't talk about who's on it yet, but it's probably going to be the dopest project that I drop by far. I also have a couple of hidden gems with my man uh, Ninth Wonder, just waiting to kind of let those things materialize, but that's definitely gonna be at the top of like next year, I, I, I could say. And we're just trying to figure it out. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not just served by myself anymore. So, you know, I, I gotta kind of wait in line and wait my turn and make sure that we're releasing things in the proper space. So you'll see my name a few places, hopefully.